Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I posted on this channel but I am back and I'm so excited to be doing this video. Uh, we have a little bit of a change in scenery here. I got my little neon sign. It says do what you love. You feel me? So I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. Um, basically I'm just going to be showing you guys how I bathe and stay fresh and smell and clean and all that good stuff. I love watching these videos. Like I love learning how other women clean themselves i don't know is that does that sound crazy i love it because everybody bathes differently we were all raised differently um but i have some really really good products that i want to show you guys and i live in houston texas and it gets really freaking hot like pretty much year round so i'm going to show you guys how to like fight off must and odor and just stay fresh and so clean so first things first you gotta hop in the shower right I use these little scrubbies in the shower. Um, they are exfoliating gloves. Um, I used to get mine, I think it was like Target, but then Target started selling these really soft ones and that was not what I was looking for. So if you use self tanner or something like that where you want the really, really soft exfoliating gloves and you don't want the hard ones, go to Target, they're at Target, they're really soft. They feel more like like a towel like they just feel like a towel rubbing on your skin i don't really like that. i wanted the aggressive ones so um i think i got these at walgreens actually i was just making like a random drugstore makeup run and i saw these and i was like oh my god yes i couldn't even find them at walmart but these are um my exfoliating gloves i love these so so much and they were pink so i had to get them i use these i don't use these on my face I do not manually exfoliate my face at all ever like but that's the whole of the video um i use these only on my body and i used to use a loofah it just i don't know i just like I, a loofah is different like this this is a glove like i can get in there you know what i'm saying like i can scrub a dub dub and it actually produces a really really good lather too so that's why i like these it's kind of like the same concept as a loofah except these exfoliate so with these exfoliating gloves i use one of two soaps just depending on how i'm feeling um the first soap that i'm going to show you is well it's not a soap it's a body wash but whatever call this soap call which one this is caress um this is the brown sugar version this is called shea butter and brown sugar this smells absolutely incredible like okay there's a purple one that crest makes and that smells incredible this smells absolutely incredible like honey <laughs> it just smells like oh i can't even explain it it's it's so much more than just shea butter and brown sugar it's like so intoxicating and that is why i love this caress scents usually linger on the skin for a very long time so like I said, depending on how I'm feeling, I will reach for this. Um, usually at nighttime, um, like in the mornings, I like to just like use something else to refresh, which I'm about to show you. Um, and then you'll understand like why I don't reach for this. But when I'm like wanting to feel like sexy and luxurious, you know what I mean? I reach for this one. The other body wash that I reach for pretty much most of the time, um, especially during the hotter months, is this dr bronner's maybe oh my gosh i saw this well i found this on a facebook post on my personal facebook and someone said that it made their butt feel like it was smoking a menthol and i was like hmm peculiar let me try this so i got myself the small version and i tried it and wow she was absolutely correct this is some next level stuff. I, I like I really don't I'm gonna try to explain it so basically it's a castor cat I think it's cast castile it's a castile soap um but the it has like peppermint essential oils and it leaves your skin feeling pepperminty and fresh and clean it does leave your skin squeaky clean so don't look to this like to moisturize because that's just not what this is for this is just when you really want that extra squeaky clean you've been running around all day you feel hot and sweaty baby you must you need to just get it all off and you don't feel like just being cute and hossy tossy with it you need like this is the industrial body wash so i love this one my husband loves this one as well like especially just when you just feel really 
grimy. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, let me explain. I live on a farm. <laughs> I live on basically like a mini farm. We have a bunch of animals, run around all day taking care of the animals, um, running my business, like YouTube. Just We have so much freaking going on. Um, and it's hot. So uh, your girl get hot and sweaty. Um, and whenever I go in the shower, I'm like, get my little... And then I come out feeling like, whoo, but the peppermint lasts. Anyways, I'm done ranting about this. This is amazing. It is expensive. This was $16, but this is 32 ounces. And my head's big, but like it's not that big. This, this, this is a lot. You get a lot. So that's why I went ahead and I got the big one because I keep running out of the small ones and I'm just like, why not just get the big one? I know we love it. Let me just invest in it. So I got that. So those are my two go-to body washes. I absolutely love those. Okay, so now that we have our body washes out of the way, let's talk about shaving. So the only thing that I shave is my legs. Um, and when I shave my legs, I use two products that I'm like gung-ho about. Um, like keep in mind, all of these products may or may not rotate. Like if I feel like trying something new or being experimental, but these are my die hard, like absolutely, I will not stray from these products pretty much ever. So my go-to shave cream is actually from EOS. Um, I normally get the, I think it's like lavender vanilla, it's purple. Um, but I just kind of felt like trying something new and the formula is the same, the scent was different. This one is, I believe it's pomegranate raspberry. Let's see if I can get a nice little scent description going here for you. It's just, it. it's like, it's fruity, it's fresh, I like it, it was cute, it was a little vibe. Um, I felt like the lavender was like starting to deal and smell like a little old lady-ish. So I went ahead and I got the pomegranate raspberry. Raspberry is a raspberry? Girl, sometimes I'd be thinking something and something else comes out. Anyways, I got the pomegranate raspberry. And this stuff is more like a wash away lotion or like a wash away cream than it is a shaving cream so like you know when you get those like i think it's called skin mitts like it's like the cheap shaving cream and it comes out in a foam whatever and you put it on and it washes away and it doesn't really leave your skin moisturized it just moisturizes while you're shaving this stuff whoo, this will have your skin feeling baby freaking smooth i love this stuff i cannot remember the price point on this um, but I don't feel like it was crazy. Like, it's shaving cream. You know what I mean? Um, but it's definitely higher, a higher price point than your Skin to Mint and your, like, regular drugstore shaving creams. But absolutely worth it. Because it's so thick and creamy, it lasts a lot longer. You will need less than half a pump of this stuff to lather, like, both legs. You know what I mean? It's more like a body conditioner. This is some good stuff. Like, if you're looking for a really strong staple shaving cream, get this. It'll last you a lot longer than the other cheaper stuff. Okay, so now onto the razors that I use. I use, this is called the Venus Comfort Glide, and this is just white tea. Um, at first, I was using a men's razor, but I realized, like, well, first I was using the men's razor because I thought that it was going to get a closer, cleaner shave, which it did, which was great, fantastic, loved it. But what it also did was it was such a close shave that it was like, it was like, it was like shaving my skin off. Like it was just too much, you know, like it's a men's razor. It's designed for harder, more coarse hair. And I, I feel like I should have known that, but whatever. Um, some men's razors work well on women. Some women swear by them. I swore by them at one point and then I started realizing why my skin was acting the way it was. It was kind of getting this like weird razor burning thing. Um, but it was a really good shave like the first two days. And then after that, it would kind of just go downhill. So I was like, girl, let me just get what was made for us, uh, for us by us. And that's when I discovered the Venus Comfort Glide. In YT. This has these little smoothie bars right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Those little things right there. The gel bars. Um, it says flexible moisture bars release light body butters allowing the razor to glide seamlessly. And that is exactly what it does. I love this stuff. It's so gentle. And it comes in this little breakaway thing. I can't, I can't break it. But it's perforated down here. So you can break it away. You can give one to a friend. Or it's just easy for traveling with. Um, so I love these things and this little combo right here it says 
this will get you right. This will get you right, okay? Don't say I didn't tell y'all nothing. All right, so last but not least, let's talk about the hoo-ha. So how do we keep our hoo-ha smelling fresh and so clean all day, all day? So, first things first, um, this isn't a product. It's just like my way of life. Um, I only shave my legs. That is the only, everything else gets waxed, like the pits, the stash, uh, my brows. Well, sometimes I, I pluck my brows um, for like in-between maintenance. Um, my arms, I wax my arms, absolutely everything. My hoo-ha, like everything besides my legs gets waxed. Okay, and I feel like that is the number one way to avoid odors and bacteria getting trapped because when you have hair when you have a long hair it's just a longer strand for odors and things and gunk to hold on to and y'all know like it can already get really hot down there and like we don't need anything going anything extra going against us you know so that's first things first i always get a brazilian um normally i do them myself but because i'm six months pregnant i'm getting larger and i can't reach so i've been doing european wax center um they're good. They're good. They're good. They're, I don't have anything negative to say about European wax. I like them. They're good. Um, I don't mind going to someone to get it done. I'm just so used to doing it myself. I have my little wax kit at home. Uh, mine's by Gigi. It's like a hard wax, hard Brazilian wax thing. It just It's just so much easier when I do it myself. Um, and it also helps you get over the pain. It, the pain is really not that serious. Like, I feel like a lot of people are scared. Like, oh, it's gonna hurt. Like, sis, it's really not, like, boss up, go in, get your stuff done. And it's gonna last you, like, four weeks, you know what I mean? So, yeah, the hair, I feel like when the hair is gone, you're just working with a clean slate, like a fresh canvas. So you're not dealing with, like, trapped odors and gunk. And there's nothing for that stuff to hold on to. So that's first things first. That's not a product. I just wanted to get that out of the way and make that clear. Now these are the products that I wash my hoo-ha with. So this is Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash. This is just a pH balance, plant-based feminine care. You don't have to use this. I use this because it contains, I think it's, oh my God, how am I gonna say this? I don't know how to pronounce this, but I think it's colloidal. Is it colloidal silver or is it collodial? It's on here somewhere. I don't know, but I think it's co 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 colloidal silver. Whatever, it contains colloidal silver, which is really good for antifungal properties. And I feel like that is the best friend ingredient in here to your hoo-ha. Like you want products that are safe, that are gentle, calming, cleansing, but also fight fungus and bacteria so the woman who created this um struggled with bb for years and so she stands behind this product and she swears by it i love it um every time i look for this it's always pretty much sold out so sometimes i gotta go online or like the last one that i got was like there was like one left at walgreens like one and i was like Ooh. and i looked around and i was like okay because I, I didn't want to feel like i was taking it from somebody but nobody was there Anyways, this contains the colloidal silver. I love it. It's just a, a very gentle foaming wash. You don't, I don't feel like I need to say this, but you don't put this inside of your hoo-ha, obviously. You don't put anything inside your hoo-ha, first of all. Like, no products, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Like, you, there's no, you don't do that. Um, this is obviously just for around the hoo-ha. Um, yeah, so there's that. I also use what's called down there wipes. This is what they look like. You can pretty much get them at any drugstore. Oh, this one's falling apart. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is what they look like. It's just this pretty like Merlot packaging. I love this packaging, it's great. So these are basically just, once again, like pH balanced feminine wipes, but these are flushable and that's why I like these. Um, so you don't have to worry about like clogging up your toilet. Um, this is in rose water and bamboo. They're biodegradable, they're hypoallergenic, they have aloe, vitamin E, and they are individually, oh my God. Can I not talk today? They are individually wrapped. <laughs> and so that is awesome for traveling. Um, I know a lot of hoo-ha wipes come in that like face wipe packet that's super crunchy. I don't like that. I feel like it's not discreet. Um, it's like really freaking loud when like you're in the restroom. Like I just, like that's to me, 
no, I don't need everybody hearing like when I'm wiping myself. Like that's just a lot. Um, so there's that. But these come in these cute little packets like this. It says, Psst, you're a genius. Like how freaky, y'all excuse my nails. We're still quarantined. I love these little individual wraps. I take a bunch of these with me. And so pretty much any time I am wiping, I'm wiping with those. So the last hoo-ha products are these gummies. So these are Crayon RX gummies. These are great for urinary tract health. Um, just overall like cleansing. It's just good for like preventing UTIs um, or any other type of like bacteria. I'm gonna take mine for today. They taste so good. Like if you like cranberries, these are good. And these are really good price point also. Sorry, y'all, this is not an ASMR, but I'm just smacking. These are so good. So, the reason I like these, first of all, they're gummies. Okay, obvi. But also, they have vitamin C, and they have 500 mg's of whole cranberry fruit. So, if you compare these to some of the other drugstore cranberry gummies or even some of the pills this has a really high count of cranberry so i liked that felt like it was a good option um so yeah those are just the main three things that i use for like just staying fresh and just feeling cleaner and you know like maintaining freshness throughout the day the next thing i wanted to show you guys is the deodorant that i use I am all for, let me just put this out there. I'm all for the cute, perfectly branded, natural deodorants. I love them. I've tried them. I've tried Native. I tried this other one. I think it's called Schmitz. They all smell great, but do they keep you girl not musty? No. The only thing that fights off sweat and must and funkiness for me is this baby right here. This is Mitchum's Men Gel Stick. So this is called Triple Odor Defense 48 Hour Production. This is unscented. I can't speak for the ones that are scented. I haven't tried them. I stick with what I know as far as deodorant and this freaking thing works. Now I know people are funky about Aluminum, I completely understand it. At one point I was, but I'm also funky about funkiness. So baby, this is tried and true. This creates a freaking barrier like no other. And this is not gonna let any sweat come out. I love this stuff. If you get nothing from this video, if you get hot and sweaty really easily, Please get yourself some of this. You have to get it in the men's aisle. For some reason, this is this is the men's one and they just don't make the strong one for us. But that's fine, because men are funkier anyway. But this stuff is so strong. So the last product that I want to show you is actually a product of mine. So if you guys don't know, I have a skincare company called KinCare. We make whipped body butters, body creams, foaming scrubs, moisture scrubs, and body wash. This is our sugar cookie body butter, and this is the absolute only thing that i moisturize with sometimes i will use our um body oils when i want like a really sexy combo and like the super long lasting fragrance and i just feel like layering but i mainly use our body oils in the tub for like an oil bath because i feel like the oil sticks to you and it like clings and just your skin just drinks it up and then i layer with this but this is our sugar cookie body butter it's all gross and gunky because um, me and my husband like run through these. Um, the sugar cookie smells exactly what it sounds like. Like a fresh, buttery, warm, gooey sugar cookie. Oh my God, now I want some. Sis. This stuff is so good. This stuff is so good. But yeah, if you guys are interested in any of my products, just go to kinkcare.com. I will have it linked down below. It's K-Y-N-C-A-R-E. But yeah, that is what I moisturize with, so I wanted to show you guys that. I think that was it for my feminine hygiene routine. There's so many more products that I use, but I wanted to like keep it core-based. Like, 
what do you need you know what i mean so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed if you guys are already subscribed make sure you have your post notifications on and i love you guys and i will catch you in the next video